Okay, we're live. It's James speaking. Um, I often get asked questions on, I haven't really created my first course. Do you have a real easy way to create a course just when I'm starting out and I'm not quite sure what to do? Well, I just had a live stream where uh, a point came across and I went, wait a second, this is an easy example of how you can create your first course kind of while you're doing your research using an AI tool like Claude. What I want to do today is I want to show you uh, how this kind of system works and why it's a simple way to get started when you're uncomfortable doing all this fancy video stuff, but you're doing the work to create course content and you have it ready, but you're just not ready to pull the trigger and actually be on camera. So I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to show you how I kind of came up with this piece and uh, also give you some additional resources if you really want to get more serious about creating courses, building out your own personally branded campus and being able to sell uh, your information online and actually build a, a full-time business and full-time income at it. So how did I run into this? Where is it from and uh, how to get started? So I'm going to go to the trainingsites.io uh, site. And by the way, uh, trainingsites.io is my personal branded campus. It's my personal platform. And the way that uh, my business works and the way that I'm recommending that you consider building yours in all of this AI content influx is to build your own platform so that you have a place to have people know, like, and trust you and basically work with you to share your transformation uh, and be able to teach them the skills that they need to do the same. So if you haven't already, go to trainingsites.io forward slash join. It's free to join and you'll get access to my courses. Uh, my live classes that we do every Wednesday, uh, plus a whole bunch of resources, including hundreds of prompts. So the way that this came up today specifically was that um, I do research. Every time I go and do a, co uh, a course or put together a course, what I do is I usually use a mind map to try and figure out what are the different pieces that I want to cover. And then I may go and use ChatGPT or Claude or some of these other tools to kind of upload my research and then get some help doing things like creating a syllabus or putting a logical flow or structure or content together. And if you don't know how to do that, there's actually, I've got a complete course here that's for you. And again, this one's free for you to use. Uh, actually, let me just go back so you can see it uh, right here on the campus. But I have these mini courses or micro courses. This one is, is uh, my AI workflow prompt powered course creation. And this is all about how you actually use prompts to get your course put together. So you can pick through these. There's a couple ones that you might like to make sure that you have a flow. But the question is, okay, I generated or did my research on, on one of these AI tools. How do I actually create something that I can record? And in the past, what a lot of people did is they said, okay, I know PowerPoint, let's create a slide deck and have that slide deck put together and use PowerPoint to create the particular content. So I'm going to show you one of the things that I ran into while I was preparing for an actual video. See, in the past, I might have done that, you know, went to PowerPoint, open it up, or maybe it's Google Sheets, or I think it's Google Sheets, uh, or S Google Slides or whatever, or the Apple product to create some kind of template or put together product. I may have done that in the past, but I was playing around with my one of my favorite tools for course content and course marketing. And if you haven't seen this before, I'll open it up for you. And I have some additional videos on this uh, on the channel. If you haven't joined, make sure to join or like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and join the campus. But um, on this one here in Claude, they have a thing called projects. And what projects is, this is by the way, this is you can get a free account. And I think projects is free. If not, you might have to upgrade to the paid account. But projects is a way to organize your research or the chats that you had in groups or sections. And I had a particular group, think of it as a course that I was doing and I was having a whole bunch of different chats here about the topic of the course. And the great thing of, uh, you know, about any of these AI tools now is if you look on the right hand side, I uploaded a bunch of my notes. So they might've been PDFs or mind maps. Remember what I was talking about? or blog posts or other things that the AI tool, Claude in this case, can use as a reference point and context and include in the answers that it uh, gives. So I was playing around with uh, in here 
and asking questions about, you know, how do I create a skip script? Can you give me a syllabus if I want to teach these particular things? And these are the prompts to actually do that are in this course that I was talking about, my AI workflow. And again, you can go and go through these to get the prompts. I have a complete library of them for you, but these are all available to you. And I was playing around with here, putting them all together. And one of the things that happens with, with, uh, with Claude is you can have what's called an artifact. And basically an artifact is an output of some piece or some answer that you created in the chat. And I was playing around and the last one I did was, I have a course that I'm putting together and that course is all about, you know, what is the best piece of software or uh, plugins or service to use if you're going to create a platform, like a personally branded platform or a place to sell your courses or a place to market your online business or, you know, course business. I was playing around with this and one of the things that happens is, Claude creates what are called artifacts. And I created a couple after my chat. And one of the ones um, I asked, I said, uh, I said, uh, these, it gave me an answer. And I said, these are too cheesy. I'm using campus or training site and personal platform, almost like a private YouTube where only the content that I want available is in my personal space. So it went through and did some notes and some reasoning and put it all together. And then it said at the end, it said, um, what aspects, uh, uh, said, would you like me to create a simple visual that shows how this differs from the traditional course only approach? So I'm doing my research anyway on this, right? I'm not doing anything separate. This is research that I'm actually doing. And if I go down and it, I said, yeah, sure. And what happened is it created an artifact. So I want, want you to watch this. When I click artifact, this opens up on the right hand side and this is the artifact, uh, the artifact that is basically available to me that got created. Now there's a couple things that are interesting if you're creating a course. I'm assuming you're already doing the research in Claude. I would hope that you've done the research in Claude and you're collecting a syllabus and scripts and bullet points and ideas and a logical flow, all of the stuff you would normally do. But you can always say, can you create a visual representation of this? and it will generate an artifact for you. And there's, if you look on this set, uh, we'll look on the page here just so they see it on the right hand side, maybe try and make it a little bit bigger so that you can see it. And again, it's off to the side, but on the right hand here, so it says, um, course business versus personal platform comparison. And I can refresh it here, there's preview and code. So normally it generates all this code, which I really can't use, but if you hit preview, we have a pretty good looking explanation of what I've generated in the particular chat that I've had. So I've been prompting back and forth. I'm not just regurgitating what it is. I can ask for clarifications or change the content that I get, but it's creating a visual for me, which now I don't necessarily need as a PowerPoint slide. And here's why. If you look at the bottom of it in this section, it generated based on my chats, based on my input, based on my clarifications, it created some content for me that looks pretty good. And if you look on the bottom right, I have download to a file, which is markdown file, which we can put into a spreadsheet. It's got copy contents or it's got at to current project. So I can add this artifact to the project in general so that it gets referenced from all of the other chats that I have in this project. But the one that's cool here is this one in the bottom right and it says published. So watch what happens when I click published. It says published. Anyone on the web with this link can view the artifact only. Your chat will remain private. And then it gives you a copy link. So when I copy that and I go and paste it into a particular screen in a browser and I hit control V, to paste it, I now have something that I can talk about during the video that I'm doing. So if you're doing a screen capture video, I can basically talk about this without my face, or if I want to go and add my particular face while I'm talking about it, like in this particular example, I can go and interact with the screen 
using whatever tool you are to capture your videos. And again, that's we have a whole bunch of different tools that we've covered in the trainingsites.io campus about how to capture it. But I can go and actually go and play around with this and move up and down through the particular content that I've created in the chat. I don't have to create an extra PowerPoint presentation. It looks really good right here. And these are the talking points that I'm talking about. So here's some examples of other ones that I did. I actually created one that has a platform evaluation tool. So in the actual Claude, I was basically saying, hey, I want to create a tool. And it created a tool that's available for me. And this is a live tool that I can use. In my particular case, it was to evaluate which is the best tool to be using uh, for you know, creating a platform, which uh, software as a service or some other ones. And I'll put in some answers just to give you an example of how this works. So this is just an example goes through on this one. I only have 47, so it's giving me some more. But this is a tool basically that I created. And this was all from a single chat that I had. And I went through and I started publishing the results of what was going on. And here's another one that I did. You know, what's the difference between using YouTube and your platform to host the videos? What's the difference between earning revenue on YouTube or your platform? Copied it, copy the link, paste it in, and I've now got something to present on. So this is a real simple way, if you're getting started where you don't have to do a fancy slide deck, you can just take the content that you created with Claude, use the artifact, and now you have something that you can record as a course, as a YouTube video, uh, and it's just a replacement for using PowerPoint. So this is just a simple example of what I ran into uh, while I was talking earlier today. I came up with an idea and I've quickly created a video of it doing exactly what I was doing about the video. And this is an easy way for you to get started if you're interested in creating online courses and monetizing all that great stuff in your head that you want to get out and teach other people so that they can learn the skills that you've learned over your 45 years plus, which is most of the demographic that watch my videos. So I hope you like this. Again, if you haven't already, join trainingsites.io forward slash join. Community's free. All of these courses are there. All of my prompts, everything's inside. Uh, I'm here to help you start building, grow your education business and build your own training site, your own personal platform. James Maduke, take care. Expect the best. We'll be back with another video. This is my third video today. We're pumping them out. Got lots of good stuff to share, so I hope you enjoyed it. If actually put the community, if you have something you want to see, put it in there uh, in one of the open spaces, uh, and I'd love to do it with you and or for you. Thanks.